In Halton, uh, in uh, 13 months, uh, we screened around about 1,800 people and we identified 34 that triggered the diagnostic and we signposted into primary care. We agreed to, with Halton, uh, to add atrial fibrillation to our safe and well work back in 2017. And Halton felt that uh, the fire was uh, an obvious partner to work with to help identify uh, people at risk from AF within the Halton area. They've got about 20,500 over 65s in the Halton area and they estimate about 500 um, have got undiagnosed AF. So they saw us as a good fit because through our Safe and Well work we are targeting over 65 households proactively. They provided us with a basic ECG tool called a My Diagnostic, which had been provided by the NHS Innovation Agency Northwest Coast. When we're in people's homes, we explain that we're there to do um, the fire risk assessment, but we also explain that we're working in partnership with the NHS and Public Health England to support some identified local health priorities. And if they're happy for us to proceed uh, with the health bit, then we will also do that as well as part of the visit. It's a very basic tool, um, which uh, is a good fit for fire because uh, literally you just grab on either end of the tool within about a minute and a minute and a half it gives a reading either a green tick uh, that you're okay with regards to atrial fibrillation or a red cross uh, that there may be a problem if uh, you get a red cross reading uh, then we don't try to panic the people the person we just say this indicates there may be a problem um, we leave them with a leaflet and advise them to make an appointment uh, with their GP to get it further checked out. I think without the NHS Innovation Agency North West Coast, I don't, I, I don't anticipate that we would have actually have added atrial fibrillation to our safe and well work. I'm really pleased we have because we all know it's an incredibly important issue. Um, it affects many, many people with devastating impacts. And it also costs, at the end of the day, NHS budgets a huge amount of money. So I think it's a win-win uh, every which way you cut it.